praise God. Amen. In this season, gone should be the line of thought, praise God, that we only go to church, we only go to the place of prayer, so that God or we only go to church, go to the place of prayer to collect what, God's ha- what God has for us. To do what? To collect. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people when they don't have problems, they will not what? They will not go to church. Praise God. And God is so gracious to them that he makes sure they have enough problems that they will keep going to church. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. When they have nothing to collect, they will not what? They will not go to the place of his presence. Hallelujah. Praise God. But I want you in this season, amen, that let us Pursue Christ. Let us go into the place of his presence this time around because we are saying, Jesus, we desire you. We desire your what? Your person. Praise God. We just want to bless you. Praise God. Didn't David say that I will bless the Lord at all times? His praises shall continually be in my what? In my mouth. Praise God. Amen. He says in 1 Chronicles 29 and verse number 3. Praise God. Because I set my affection on the house of God. Praise God. Amen. I have given above and beyond. Look at 29 verse number 3. Verse number 3. Praise God. Amen. David says, moreover, because I have what? I have set my affection, my love on the house of my God. I have given to the house of my God over and a what? Over and above. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Imagine in your closet, prayer closet. Praise God. Imagine in this space around you, forgetting the company of everyone around you. Jesus appears to you and say, what can I do for you? And you say, nothing, sir. I just want to bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to what? To bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Gone should be the kind of parasitic. No one likes parasites. Especially bed bugs. I don't know what you what you're hating. Especially what? Bed bugs. Praise God. Someone else will say cockroaches. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We're talking about the the pursuit of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And For a few sessions now, we've looked at a number of subjects. Praise God. Today, we want to take a scripture reading from Revelation chapter 4 and verse 11. Revelation 4, 11. If you could put it in King James Version, please. The Bible says that thou art worthy, O Lord. Please, if you don't have a Bible, you can borrow one up here, free of charge. Praise God. Amen. But uh, don't let it discourage you from owning a Bible. Praise God. Now, I want to bless somebody who has no Bible. You genuinely don't own a Bible. 
just show me your hand. I, I want to bless you with a Bible. You don't have a Bible. Next Sunday, you have a Bible from me. In Jesus' name. Anyone else, you don't have a Bible. You don't have a Bible. Next Sunday, you have a Bible from me. Praise God. I tell you what. There is a, a spiritual high life and a spiritual low what? Low what? Low life. Praise God. Amen. The spiritual low life is the kind of people that want the miracles of Jesus and not the person of what? A spiritual what? Low life. Amen. When they, you know, when they don't have problems, they will not go to church. They will not pray. Praise God. Because they've got nothing to collect. Praise God. That's spiritual what? Hallelujah. Praise God. You don't have a Bible. You will have a Bible next Sunday. That's three Bibles. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let, let me tell you something. Electronic Bible compared to book Bible, electronic Bible is low life. Praise God. Let me tell you something. You have to know what the book says before you know what what? What this thing says. Praise God. When I did, when I started learning computer, when they, they told me garbage in, garbage. Praise God. You type in what you already what? No. You try, you try typing in nothing in Google search. What would you find? You have to have an idea of what you're looking for. Garbage in. Praise God. But this book has no garbage. Praise God. It has no what? It has no garbage. Praise God. Hallelujah. The spiritual high life and spiritual what? Praise God. Amen. Acts, uh, the book of John chapter 4. Praise God. Amen. The disciples begin to agitate around Jesus. We are hungry, we are hungry, we are hungry. And they said, if I hang around these people for long, praise God. You know, they will destroy my ministry now. Praise God. Amen. Take money. Go buy what? Go buy food to eat. Praise God. Amen. And then he goes and finds a woman. Praise God. Who needs life. Who needs what? Life. Praise God. See, please, when you're fetching water, give me what? A drink to drink. Praise God. And the woman says, ah, since when did the what? The Samaritans and the Jews what? Agree. Praise God. And Jesus goes, if you knew who is it that is speaking to you, you would ask him to give you what? Living water. Praise God. Amen. And they, I'm sure the woman carnally imagined the possibility of never having to come back to fetch water from the well again. Hallelujah. Say, I, li I like this one. Living what? Living water that I will not what? I will never thirst again. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And then later on in verse 34, praise God, the disciples wonder whether what he has eaten. Amen. We were hungry. We went, we went and bought takeaway KFC. Any KFC supporters? Amen. Hallelujah. They went and ate, and they came back and wondered, what has he eaten? Praise God. He's been with us all day. And Jesus speaks to them and says, my food is what? 34. Praise God. Jesus said to them, my food is what? Is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Hallelujah. Spiritual high life, spiritual low life. 
praise God. Amen. Those that are spiritually low, praise God, they are prone to physical hunger. And I tell you what, physical hunger messes them, messes them up. Praise God. Food for the belly, belly for the food, they will all do what? Praise God. Amen. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created, I'm reading Revelation 4, verse 7. I mean, verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive what? To receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created what? All things, and for thy pleasure they are what? For they are created. Praise God. For thy pleasure they are what? They are created. Praise God. Amen. For thy pleasure. They are created. Praise God. Amen. If you're looking for a theme of my sharing, I will say to you, for God's pleasure. Hallelujah. Amen. For what? For God's pleasure. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who, sits, who, uh, who lives forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things. What? Praise God for his pleasure and all things include you and I. Hallelujah. Praise God. All things include what? Include you and I. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. From that verse, we can see that the purpose for God creating you and I, praise God, is for what? For his what? For his pleasure. Praise God. That we give him what? Pleasure. Praise God. That in all that we find to do, in all our pursuit, we give him what? We give him pleasure. Praise God. That we give him glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. In your employment, you give him what? Pleasure. In your studies, you give him what? Pleasure. Praise God. In your career, you give him what? You give him pleasure. Praise God. Hallelujah. Even in your desires, you give him what? You give him pleasure. Praise God. Let's pause for a minute. Amen. Some people are looking for, to find, and they're asking, what is the reason for living? The purpose for what? For living. Hallelujah. Amen. And God is saying that. For my pleasure, I what? I created you. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And your fulfillment, your joy, your happiness, praise God, amen, is in the pleasure of God. Praise God. When God is happy, then you are what? You and I are happy. Praise God. Amen. You and I are happy. Praise God. You and I are happy. Praise God. Amen. But there is where things have gone wrong, praise God. Amen. Is when every man, every woman, praise God, begins to say, 
I have a dream. I have a what? I mean, their own what? Their own dreams of actualization. Praise God. Amen. Outside of... Uh, The pleasure of God. Hallelujah. You see, if you are looking for an equation for, frust uh, for frustration, praise God. Amen. Man's pursuit, according to the will of God, equals to happiness. Praise God. Amen. Man's pursuit, outside of the will of God, equals to frustration. Praise God. Equals to what? Equals to frustration. Praise God. When one is in Christ Jesus, Bible says, he is number one, a new creation. Praise God. And number two, he is led of the Spirit of God. Praise God. In your career choices, in your employment, praise God. In every choice that you make, praise God. You are led of the what? Of the spirit. Praise God. Amen. So how, come, how can somebody who is not pursuing Christ be sure that they are led of the spirit? Hallelujah. How can somebody who is not pursuing God, praise God, who is not keeping themselves in the presence, be sure that they are led of the what? Of the Spirit. Praise God. The Galatians chapter 5 and verse 25, praise God, says do what? Live in the Spirit. Praise God. If we live in the what? In the Spirit. Let us also walk in the what? Walk in the Spirit. Praise God. Because therein we are led. Praise God. Therein we are what? We are led by the Spirit of God. Praise God. Amen. We are led of God. Praise God. Amen. Even in our career choices. Praise God. Even in our relationship choices. Praise God. Even in our job choices. Praise God. We can be rest assured that we are led of what? Of the Spirit of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Let's continue, Father. Praise God. Do you know that it is possible to worship God the way we like, not the way He wants, not, not the way He likes? Praise God. Amen. What was echoed over and over again, praise God, is for us to bring ourselves to a place where we desire the person of Jesus. Praise God. Amen. And not the theories of Jesus, the principles of Jesus, and the stories of Jesus. Praise God. Let's take an example. Praise God. Uh, Acts of Apostles chapter 17 <coughs> Acts 17. We may read a few verses. Praise God. I'll take it from verse 22. Praise God. From verse 22. So... Paul, in his evangelistic missions, praise God, he comes to a town or a city called Athens in Greece. Praise God, in Greece. Amen. And it starts off in verse 22. The Bible says that Paul stood in the midst of Areopagus and said, Let me paint a picture from verse 16. Praise God. He arrives in Athens and the Bible says that and his spirit begins to what? To be grieved. Praise God. 
provoked within him because he saw in the city that these people were idol what? Idol worshippers. Praise God. Idol worshippers. Praise God. And then he goes into their synagogues and therefore he reasoned what? In the synagogue with the Jews and with the Gentile and the Gentile worshippers and in the marketplace daily with those who happen to be what? To be there. Keyword there, this is free of charge, he reasoned daily. Praise God. He did what? He reasoned daily. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't, you know, uh, throwing the words of the gospel at them. Praise God. He sat down and he reasoned what? Praise God. Reasoned the word of God with them. Praise God. And they were all astonished. Praise God. Amen. And the learned of the city take him to the side. Praise God. To the court called Areopagus. Pagus. Praise God. Amen. And they begin to tell him, tell us about this foreign gospel. You are what? You are preaching. Praise God. Because we've never what? We've never heard of it. Why? Because they worship many what? Many idols. They are very what? They are very, very, very confused. And they are not just confused. They have become confused confusers. Hallelujah. Praise God. In verse 22, then Paul stood where? In the midst of Areopagus, And said, men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are what? You are very religious. Praise God. For as I was passing through and considering the objects of your worship, I even found an altar within, with this inscription to the unknown what? To the unknown God. Praise God. And I tell you what that touches my heart. Hallelujah. Is it possible that even in the very church, praise God, there are people that are worshiping Christ, praise God, without knowing his person. Hallelujah. Without what? Without knowing his persons. Praise God. And maybe the Bible says in the presence of God is fullness of what? There's what? There's fullness of joy. And the joy is derived from the things that God what? Gives us. Praise God. In the presence of God, there's healing take, deliverance take, provision take. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, we go what? We go rejoicing because the path of the Lord, Psalm 65, verse 11, drips with what? Drips with a, the path of the Lord, drips with what? With abundance. Praise God. Even non believers will come and pick up what? Of the abundance that falls from the path of what? The path of the Lord. Without knowing him. Without what? Without knowing him. Praise God. Amen. And Apostle Paul begins to tell them. says, therefore, the one whom you worship without knowing. Him I what? I proclaim to you. Praise God. The one that you've made this address to today. And known what? God, whom you worship without knowing, is the one I've come what? To proclaim to you. Praise God. It's the one I've come to proclaim to you. Praise God. Amen. He is the one that I've, I've come to proclaim to you. I will jump very quickly to verse 25. Praise God. Oh, let's, let's carry on. Praise God. Verse, 20, verse, verse 24. I've come to proclaim him to you. God, who made the what? The world and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in what? Does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he worshipped with man's what? With men's what? With men's hands, as though he needed anything, since he gives to all life, breath, and all things. Verse 26. He has made from one from one man from one 
from one blood, praise God, other versions from one man, meaning Adam, praise God, from one blood, every what? Every nation of men to dwell in all the face of the earth. And has determined their what? Their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings. Verse 27. So that they should what? So that they should seek. So that they would, should what? So that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might what? Grope for him and find him. Though he is not far from each one of us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. God, this God that I proclaim to you, the one that you've been following without what? Without knowing. This to the unknown God, I've come to proclaim him to you. Praise God. His name is Jesus Christ. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus Christ. Praise God. And he has desired, praise God, that all men, that we should seek the Lord in the hope that they might, that we might what? That we might grope for him and find, and find him. Though he is not what? He is not far. Praise God. He is not far. He is closer to every one of us. Praise God. He is closer to every one of us. Verse 28. For in him we do what? We live and move. Amen. The Passion Translation says, In him we live and we function. Praise God. Amen. And we function. Hallelujah. In him we live and move. Praise God. And have our what? Our being. As also some of you, some of your own poets have what? Have said, for we are also his what? His offsprings, praise God. Now how can they be offspring of the God that they don't know? Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You see, if we worship without knowing, how can we give him pleasure? Praise God. How can we give him pleasure? Praise God. Amen. Now to understand the pleasure that God desires. Perhaps let's also understand that there are those that have given him displeasure. Praise God. Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 and verse number 6. Praise God. Amen. Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 and verse number 6. Praise God. Then the Lord saw, saw that the wickedness of what? Of man was great in the earth. And that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was what? Was only evil continually. Praise God. Verse number six. You know. And the Lord was sorry that he what? He made man on the earth. And he was grieved in his heart. Praise God. Amen. Now, as it was then, praise God. A people grieving his heart even right now. Praise God. God is saying that I made you for my what? For my pleasure. Praise God. The kind of pleasure that God derived at visiting Adam and Eve every what? Every evening. He would what? He would come walking. Praise God. Amen. They would dine with God and have a laugh with God and eat with God and drink with God and never have to worry about sickness or disease and never have to worry about what to eat or what to drink or what to wear. Praise God. Because God was their dwelling place. Praise God. Amen. And in them was God's dwelling what? Dwelling place. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible said that he what? He repented that he had made man. Praise God. Amen. And I, I really pray, praise God, 
that God will not say that of you and I. Praise God. Amen. Amen. That God will not say that of you and I. How are you meeting God's pleasure needs? Praise God. Let's take an example. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 2 and 3. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 2 and 3. Familiar portion of scripture. Bible say hear or what? Hear all heavens and give ear all earth. For the Lord has what? Has spoken. I have nourished and brought up what? Children. They have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner. And the donkey its master's what? Master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people do not what? My people do not consider. Does that sound like displeasure? Hallelujah. Does that sound like displeasure? Praise God. Amen. If we were in Tuesday Bible study, I'll be asking, praise God, what does displeasuring God look like? Praise God. Amen. What do people around us do that constitute displeasure to God? Praise God. Hallelujah. What happens when God is pleased with a man? What happens when God is what? God is pleased with a man. Praise God. Hallelujah. Number one. Amen. We're just taking a few examples. David, when God was pleased with him, praise God, he appointed him to be king even as a child. Praise God. Even what? As a child. Praise God. First Samuel chapter 13, verse 13 and 14. Praise God. Let's read it very quickly. Praise God. First Samuel chapter 13, verse 13 and 14. Amen. You know, and Samuel said to Saul, you have done what? You've done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord your God, which he commanded you. For now, the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever. Verse 14. But now your kingdom shall not what? Shall not continue. The Lord has sought for himself a man after his own what? A man after his own heart. And the Lord has commanded him to be commander over his people because you have not what? You have not kept the Lord. You have not kept what the Lord commanded you. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord has sought for himself a man after his own heart. Praise God. That means David was after God's what? God's heart. Praise God. What are you looking for? I am after your heart. Hallelujah. He was after God's what? Winning God's what? Heart. Winning God's heart. Praise God. If it does not please God, I am not in it. Hello. Praise God. I am not in it. Praise God. From a very young age, Praise God. Amen. Now, imagine if David fought Goliath at age 17. Praise God. At what age was he anointed king? Praise God. Chapter 16. Amen. David is anointed king among all his what? His brothers. Chapter 16. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At what age was he appointed in chapter 13? Hallelujah. Praise God. So age is no issue. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Not his brothers. Praise God. The youngest among seven. Praise God. Oh, amen. Number two. Amen. What happens when... God is pleased 
with you or with a man. Amen. Number two, the example of Solomon. When God was pleased with Solomon, with Solomon's offering and the cry of his heart, God gave him wisdom and wealth to be the wisest and richest man who ever lived. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. You see that in 1 Kings chapter 3. Chapter 3. Let's take a quick reading from verse number 9. I'll read from verse number 10. The speech, this is after Solomon gave a thousand offering. Praise God. A thousand what? Offering. God visited him in the middle of the night and said, ask of me any what? Anything. Praise God. Amen. How many of you wanted that blank check? Eh? Just three people? Ah. Praise God. Amen. Ooh, you will do something that will make God to visit you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. But I tell you what, Solomon made sure, praise God, and I want to believe by the inspiration of God that he got everything. He got more than he needed from that visit. Hello. Praise God. Now listen. Amen. The Bible said that the speech the speech pleased the Lord, verse number 10, that Solomon had asked this thing. Then God said to him, because you have asked this thing and have not asked long life for yourself, nor have asked riches for yourself, nor have asked the life of your enemies, praise God, I can hear some people's prayer points. Make me rich. Make me rich. Give me long life. My enemies die. How do you want them to die? <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, because you have not asked for this, praise God, is it possible that if we are looking at the possibilities of people saying this prayer and how many people will say the other prayer, would the majority say this prayer? That, praise God. So it's as though God was expecting that Solomon will ask for what? For riches, for himself, for long life, for himself. And for the head of his enemies. Praise God. And God and Solomon surprised God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Say, because you did not ask for these things. Praise God. But have asked for yourself understanding to the son justice. Behold, I have done according to your what? According to your words. See, I have given you a wise and understanding heart so that there, there has also the, so that so that there has not been anyone like you before. You nor shall any like you arise after you. Praise God. God gave him what? A rise heart. And if you continue to verse 13, praise God. Says, you know, and I have also what? Given you what you have not what? What you have not asked. Both what? Riches and honor. So that there shall not be anyone like you among the kings all your what? All your days. Praise God. The speech pleased the Lord. Hallelujah. The speech what? The, the speech pleased the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Our priority, praise God. Amen. Our priority should be
to give God pleasure. Thou hast created man for thy what? For thy pleasure. Praise God. Amen. When we fail in our duty to give God pleasure, praise God, how can we have pleasure in what we pursue? Hello. How can we have pleasure in the things that we want to achieve? Praise God. Amen. Number three, the example of Daniel. Praise God. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 Bible says that Daniel decided that he would not defile himself. Praise God. And he chose to eat vegetables instead of meat. Praise God. I hope there's a Daniel here. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Eh? Praise God. And the Bible says when it came to a matter of assessment, Daniel was found to be 10 times what? 10 times better. Verse number 20. Praise God. He was found to be what? He was found to be 10 times better. Praise God. And in chapter 6 of Daniel, praise God, the Bible said Daniel again this time, he distinguished himself. Praise God. Amen. Above all the what? All the governors and the satraps. He did what? He distinguished himself. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now that distinguishing of himself, then this Daniel distinguished himself above what? Above the governors and satraps. Praise God. Hallelujah. And there are two notions to this. Praise God. He determined in his heart, praise God, that when everyone else is giving average service, he will give above average service. Praise God. Hallelujah. When everyone else is giving reasonable service, praise God, he chose that he will give above what? Above reasonable. Praise God. Find a man who is diligent in all his ways. He will not stand just before me and men. He will stand before what? Before kings. Praise God. Now I work with some brothers. Praise God. In my, I still work. Hallelujah. Praise God. And they will only do what is what? Reasonable. Praise God. Hallelujah. Work starts at 7.15. They arrive 7.16. Praise God. They arrive what? 7.16. Praise God. Yet there are people that arrive 7 o'clock or 6.30 a.m. Praise God. Amen. Work finish 6.45. Praise God. 6.40 they are ready to leave. Praise God. Yet there are people that work until 8 o'clock. Praise God. Do you know that your place, is, that your place of excellence is the place of service above and beyond? Hallelujah. The, your place of service above and beyond. Praise God. God has only asked for what is reasonable. Praise God. He is desiring that you will give more than what? Reasonable. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the second notion to that scripture is, praise God. He could only be where he was because God placed an excellent what? spirit in him. Praise God. Hallelujah. He desired to be excellent. Therefore, God helped him. Go on. Go on and excel. Praise God. You know when we talk about excellence, excellence means you have to exceed above and beyond. Praise God. Above someone. Above something. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He pleased the Lord. Therefore, God did what? Gave him excellence in a foreign land. He was a foreigner. Praise God. A what? A foreigner. Praise God. Did he suffer racism? Yes. Did he want to suffer discrimination? Yes. Praise God. But the excellence of God knows no racism. He knows no discrimination. Praise God. You can get yourself to a place. Praise God. Where you become the desire of all what? All nations. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
A place where they cannot but what? Usher you up. Usher you. Because by comparison, you are ten times what? Ten times better. Praise God. Hallelujah. Proverbs 16 and verse number 7. When a man's ways please what? Please the Lord. He makes even his enemies be what? At peace with him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now do you understand why there are some believers that say that, that keep crying every night devil, every night devil, every night what? Every night devil, every night devil, every night devil. Praise God. Hallelujah. Check out your ways. Are they pleasing God? Are they what? Failure upon failure. Failure upon failure. Troubles upon what? Troubles. Praise God. The pleasing of God is safety for us. Protection for us. Excellence for us. Provision for us. Praise God. The pleasing of what? The pleasing of God. Praise God. The pleasing of God, as in the pleasure of God, is strength for us. Praise God. Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse number 10. Praise God. Amen. You know, this saying that people keep saying, the joy of the Lord is my what? What do they really mean when they say the joy of what? The joy of the Lord is my what? The joy of the Lord is my strength. Let's read on. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. Praise God. Then he said to them, Nehemiah, go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, send portions to those whom what? Whom nothing is prepared for this day is what? Is holy unto what? Unto our Lord. Do not sorrow for the joy of the Lord is your what? Is your strength. Praise God. God is happy. He translates to strength for you. Hallelujah. What have you done to make God what? Hallelujah. What have you done to make God what? Happy. Praise God. Hello. Amen. I tell you what. Let me tell you something. Who kn I don't know about you. Praise God. You can just nod your head. Praise God. Amen. Do you find scriptures beautiful to quote? Yeah. When you speak Bible, does it make you happy like, like it does make me happy? Praise God. Hallelujah. There are so many non-believing believers out there that will quote what? That will quote scripture. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yet they do nothing to make God what? Happy. Praise God. Amen. But the scripture says that the joy of the world, the Lord. When I have made the Lord happy, praise God. Amen. What do I get in exchange? Strength, spiritual strength, mental strength, psychological strength, financial strength. Name whatever strength you need. You've got it. Praise God. When you have what? Ha! Ah, praise God. Some people are busy making peace with brother and sister and not in making peace with who? With God. Praise God. Is that not error? Somebody shout error. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast what? Created all things and for thy pleasure they are what? They are created, praise God. 
Do you know there are some believers? They even go to church to pursue their own what? Their own happiness and not the joy of the Lord. Hello? They, pass, they even go to church to pursue their what? Their own happiness and not the joy of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. They are busy to fight and scatter anybody that comes their way. Praise God. As long as they are what? They are happy. Praise God. And they don't think, what does God think about that? Amen. Is he happy with it or is he not happy with it? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. But if we love him, praise God, we seek his word pleasure. When he is unhappy, I am what? I am unhappy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And Jesus in that verse 34 of Acts of Apostles chapter 4 says, what is my food? Praise God. Amen. Now, forgive me, I come from the world, praise God, where we never used to eat food for pleasure. Yeah? We only eat food, we only ate food for survival. Hello? Eh? Aha. Uh -huh. We only eat food for what? For survival, praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah? Some people today, they don't eat food, they eat choices. Praise God. We do not even have choice. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, some of us, if it does not taste good, we will what? Drop it. Praise God. Hallelujah. With what? Because it has not given us pleasure. Praise God. And Jesus is saying that for all the pleasure that is in food, for everything that is pleasurable, Outside the will of my father who sent me, praise God, let it wait. Let it what? Let it wait. Praise God. For my food, my pleasure is to do the will of him that what? That sent me. If he is happy, I am satisfied. I am content. Praise God.